right there where it starts. He can't be rotated, and he's got to be straight. Right. If his back is just straight, can't you just do this like with the elbows? I've never tried that. Yeah. They say the elbow is. It might work. Oh, okay. Where's your elbow? Yeah. Everybody, touch the elbow to your crust. Is that pretty much close? Yeah. 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 When you're digging into your patients, you need to, when you dig into your patients, be sure that, number one, you tell them, okay, and number two, you tell them to relax, because if they stiffen up, it's going to be more difficult for you. Right. Okay, so you need to tell them, I need you to relax, please. Re relax, because I need to find some palpation points here. So can okay. you get them straight first, and then you would center? You have to, because what I see students sometimes do is they're playing with the CR and all, and then they say, okay, I need to do lateral. Get them all, yeah, get them straight, then. lateral, all of that. Communication. I need you to hold still for me, please. Try not to move. You got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you recommend? First, um, all right, two scenarios. One, if you leave it a little bit open, for sure you'll get it. Well, when you start out, I tell you guys, leave it a little bit open. <laughs> right. However, when I go out and visit you and say you've already done 10 lumbars, and on your 10 lumb lateral lumbars, they continue to be here, here, and here, I'm saying you're just eyeballing. You're not learning. The goal is to get it here. And I'm not saying I always get it there. I get it. Right. But I'm saying at least, let's have at least, say, 90% pretty much centered. 85%. If you can do that, good. Because I get it. Some patients are really, really big. And they're difficult. I'm not talking about those. Mm -hmm. But you should get at least, say, 85%, 88% of your patients nicely centered. Not all of them, because some of them are going to be My difficult. My question was going at, is better to have a little bit Yes, yeah, so I'm saying, I'm saying when again. you start when you start out doing your lumbar spines, leave it open to the size of your cassette. As you find that you're getting them nicely centered, then challenge yourself. Right. Start closing it up. You know, when we had film, there was a 7x17 seven cassette. I had clinics that would tell students, no, we want it on 7x17. Seven this wow. is it. Right. No matter what size of patient. Were they good techs or what? They had to be. They had to be. You see? Mm -hmm. But when you get to clinic, the text is going to say, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what Mr. T says. Open it up. Get a 14 by 17 in there. Don't worry about it. You know what they're telling you? They're telling you you're, you're incompetent. Open it up. Making it Just give you all of it. Dude. I'll give you a 17 by 17 cassette. Don't worry about it. Worry about it, guys, because they're, they're kind of dissing you that way. Because they're saying, I don't have the confidence in you. So don't worry about what Mr. T says. Don't have the confidence in yourself. Get a big cassette in there and open it up. Don't worry. You go against it? You and I will go against it. <laughs> because the purpose of this class is that you guys be good. No, because you said to not, uh, they're going to feel like you're challenging them. No, at some, most of the places know that I give you a hard time. And, and the doctors will give, there's doctors that will give you a hard time. Some doctors don't, but some tax and doctors will. Questions? If they fall asleep, what do we do? Just do that first. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. No. no, you're good. You're good. Relax. He was asleep, wasn't he? Danny, relax. Okay, now we're going to do a spot. What are we going to do with the spot, guys? The same thing. The same. Now, remember, his spine goes like this, and then his spot, his sacrum is going to come kind of turn this way. So this line probably is going to be slightly behind, yeah? What do I do? I feel crest, and then I just kind of do that. But I don't just stop there. I start feeling ASIS, okay, and make sure that it's halfway between ASIS and crest. Because sometimes when I do this, I end up being way up at crest or too low. Your spot is between crest and ASIS. Yes or no? So this is one really you need to practice. Really have to practice. When you did this, you're going no, to... I'm doing. 
Never, you don't want to touch skin to skin, yeah? You crossed hand here. And then what I do, I put it there, right? And now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm between crest and ASIS. Because ASI is the sacral segment 2, right? Mm -hmm. Crest is L4, L5. What you want is right in the middle. If this, excuse me, excuse me. If this was here, it's too low. No, it's at ASIS. It's at ASIS, yeah. So I always check. Okay. Any notes on spots, guys? Um, you got any recommendations on spots? I do the peace sign. I don't know the peace sign. <laughs> he does the peace. I do this. He does it. They're little tricks that you know you may not realize, appreciate it. What do you do? So I do the middle finger atop a crest, and just a little. I go to the highest peak. You can kind of feel it in right there. What do you do, Mike? Explain. The highest part of the crest. Uh -huh. You can kind of feel it with your with your hand because yeah. you'll you'll kind of you, you'll learn quick what works and what doesn't when you're feeling it for patience. So I'll feel it. It's about right there. I'll do the peace sign. Not too big. You don't have to spread them. I got these big banana fingers, so it's a little, little different. Oh, but so, so just, you just do an inch and a half. Yeah, just I like this. See. Do the peace I sign. See. Come down, and then. Too much. Little yeah. piece sign. Just a little one. <laughs> and Very serious though, yeah. because too much, you're going to get too low. Right. Just good for you. Normal finger I separation, understand. right? Good, good, good. You align it to your. your That's a good trick. <laughs> uh huh. The top of crest. The top of crest. You'll feel for it with your hand. And then you kind of go, okay, it's right there. Put your middle finger there. Go a little peace sign. You did really like that. nice spots. Eight by ten, nicely column. And then you put your CR right on top of your. Mm -hmm. Right on top of your, your index finger. Interesting. I mean, don't do it too much. You're, you're gonna you're gonna go to clinic, and then there, there's gonna be a, some some guy knuckleheads are gonna go. I'm gonna see how much I can get collimation. No, get down no, like no, this. no, no. Keep it no. open. You guys are just learning. Exactly. And you'll see where you're at. Yeah. Give yourself some breathing room when you first yes. get out there. Yes. Middle yes. finger is at the, the top of the crest, and then you move the index finger over. Uh huh. Just about just like this, and then you're. Uh, Does it matter which hand? I Whatever I just do top like this, you. and then control with yeah. this. It's kind of weird to come across. I mean, yeah. if you stood over here and did it, but it just feels more comfortable to me. How would you get this cross? I go to top of crest. You can feel his hip, and it's right around here. The highest point. What are you trying to say? Well, not far. Just yeah. Yes or no? So you want to make sure he's not in the back. Yeah. You got to again always read yeah, on spots. Gotta be, you got to reach. And out. she'll pick it out right away. You'll be like, how the heck did you see that? She could tell when there's rotation, when the patient's not in true wow. lateral. And you guys will, too. Yeah, yeah eventually you'll, you'll pick it up. I remember when I first started, she's like, oh, you could see this and that. And we're looking, like, what is she talking about? <laughs> and it's just your eye, you start training to see it. Just like when we started with kidneys. Yeah. She was like, oh, the kidneys are right there. And, you know, and you're looking, and like, I don't see nothing. But you'll start noticing as you go along, you, you'll realize... And you'll see, like, this, you'll learn what the Scotty dog is. And you're like, what Scotty is dog. the Scotty dog? And you look in, you're like, I can't get this thing. But after a while, you go, oh, there's the Scotty dog. You're going to people, like, hey, there's a Scotty dog. Have you seen it? You're going to, you'll, you'll, you'll start picking things Anything up. Anything on spots, guys? One more. One you more have one more, spot. Yeah. I'm sorry. One more for a spot. Just, um, same thing, film for, for top of crest. What I do is I use my pinky, though. And you know how the, the spine just comes back just a little bit. So I bring my... Aiming point down to my knuckle right here. So, boom, right there. I hit my knuckle, and it's coming back. It's following the spine back a little bit and coming down far enough and, and posterior enough to where it should be right there in the middle. Let's look at his um, images and his images. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one is oblique, guys. On the obliques. On the obliques, we still can keep the um, shield on them, okay? Different ways of doing the obliques. Um, right now, we're just going to slide a little bit to your left. A little bit more. Okay, now you're just going to roll back slightly, okay? Um, straighten out this leg, but then keep this one back. What? Yeah, perfect. I don't have a sponge for you. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, he's um, about 40, we'll say. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes? No? Um, where's our spine? Excuse me, guys. You're good, you're good. Uh, between xiphoid and asi. Yeah, so between xiphoid. So again, you can palpate xiphoid, 
ASIS and get it right in the middle. Okay. And then we can close this up. The other thing before you guys, the other option is you can feel their back and feel for the spinous process. And right now I think I probably can come back a little bit more. I think a spinous process is about right here. Feel? Would you say it's about here? Yeah. Okay, so the, the, it's facing that way. Okay. This one here still goes where? Three fingers above his crest, yeah? Okay. The other little trick, guys, is if you have this little collimation to eight, put this at the corner of their ASIS, you should be good. Okay. Something like this, you're clipping off the front of the spine. Okay, you're way off. The spine's going to be way over here. Something like this, you're too close to the xiphoid, you're probably clipping off spinous process. Okay? Questions? So we're always still centering the CR. This one still is going to be three fingers we're above? It to the yes, cassettes. always, always, always. First. Yeah. And then floating top, always center there, and then just work with the floating top. Okay. Yes or no? I have a question. Yes. If you're, let's say you're doing that, you know, xiphoid and ASIS diagonally, right? So you're palpating the xiphoid process. Would you wouldn't do that to a female? Right? Yeah, you Probably. can. Yeah. I mean, why? You're not. It's the way you guys palpate. You don't do this. You do. <laughs> oh no! I'm yeah. just saying, like. You do this, right? And then here, ASIS, right? Mm -hmm. It's the way you palpate. You gotta let them know too. You gotta let them know, yeah. No, I know that. Okay. Yes. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. How would you do, relax, Danny? How would you just? They don't know xiphoid. Or when they, right before they dress, you can tell them this is your xiphoid. I'm gonna ask you where it is. You can do it that way. Okay. Like, I just want to make sure I don't. Like this, this should be <laughs> initially start at large, but eventually come down to nine. Nine and um, it starts in the xiphoid. Um, this is going to be between xiphoid and the xiphoid. When we get someone that's extremely massive, I mean, do we still do it in the spine that xiphoid? Yeah. 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 Would you say about the corner of ASIS? When you have this collimated field to eight, you can put this little corner under ASIS. Yes or no? <laughs> Any things on obliques? Anything on obliques, guys? Yeah, I haven't covered that. I'm going to do that tomorrow for this. Anything on obliques? Are you good? We're good? Okay.